Hallelujah. I hear the Lord say, don't look behind on the finish line. Hallelujah. When you're doing great, your greatness is not the only thing you must be aware of. Not just that you're running a race, you've got to be conscious of where in the race you are. When you start, you start slowly. Come on, am I right? But on the finish line, the rules are different. There are many things you do not do on the finish line. For those who know a little about running. On the finish line, the last 100 yards or the last 50 yards or feet, the rules are different. One of the most important of the rules are don't look. Or one of the rules is, fix my grammar, don't look behind on the finish line. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The distractions are out. Mm -hmm. The substitutes are out. Mm. The false opportunities are out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the flat tree is out mm -hmm. yeah. the accusations are out yes. I mean out to get you that's what I mean but someone said don't look behind on the finish line church don't look behind God is raising up an army of our vestors for a world revival. Somebody say an army. army. I can't hear you. So how come sometimes you say the preacher don't preach good and you're not responding good? Come on, somebody. Somebody say an army. army. The Bible says in Jeremiah 51 and verse 20, you are my battle axe. Hallelujah. Somebody say don't look behind. Uh, don't look behind on the finish line because the Bible said in Jeremiah 51 20 you are my battle axe come on and my weapons of war Matthew 11 12 the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force Daniel chapter 11, he that knoweth God and have understanding, they will teach many and they will do exploits. Psalm 144 and verse 1, blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fire. Somebody turn to your neighbor and say, don't look behind on the finish line. Hallelujah. 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 Harvesters. God is raising up an army. An army. Matthew 10 and verse 30. Think not that I am come to send peace. But I come to bring a sword. You're not going to be at peace with the United Nations. Come on, somebody. You're not going to be at peace with false prognostication. You're not going to be at peace with the spirit of error. You're not going to be at peace with the spirit of blindness. You're not going to be at peace with the spirit of deceit. You're not going to be at peace with the spirit of bondage. Teach me. You're not going to be at peace with the spirit of what? I delusion. Delusion. You're not going to be at peace with the spirit of the Antichrist and the spirit of divination. Army, army, army. Somebody don't look behind on the finish line. 
For it says in Ezekiel 37 and verse 10, God told Ezekiel, prophesy to the dry bones. And the Bible said when he prophesied to the dry bones, breath came into them and they lived. Let me see the living raise your hand. You don't have to raise your hand if you're not living, but if you're living for God. I know they didn't understand me. They didn't understand me. Mm, they didn't under if you're living for God, come on, somebody raise your hand. He said they lived and they stood up on their feet. Why don't you try it out? Let me see if you're really living. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to. But if you're living, stand up on your feet and exceeding. Come on, somebody. Come on, army. Open up your mouth and shout like an army. Open your mouth and hallelujah like an army. Open your mouth and glory like an army. Open your mouth and praise like an army. Open your mouth and shout Jesus like an army. Come on, somebody. Move like an army. Move from your seat. Go one foot or three foot and look like an army. Sound like an army. Preach like an army. Worship like an army. Praise like an army. on the finish line. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh. Don't look behind. Glory to God. Uncompromise because men shall not endure sound doctrine on the finish line. For there shall be a great falling away. It will become the norm. Oh, but God said, don't look behind. He said, don't look behind. He said, be holy for I am holy. He said, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your and be not conformed help me somebody to this world, so what is this world? this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, somebody don't look behind, somebody don't look behind just this past few months there came on the earth a major attack upon Christianity, uh, I gotta say, it. I, gotta, I gotta release something here, a major attack upon Christianity but it looked like it was a blessing but it was an attack I call it the Judaization of Christianity that's the root of the Shemitah prognostication and the root of the blood moon prognostication and the root of making dates of the coming of the Lord and the coming of things uh, by Jewish feast they, if they had been successful then they would, the next thing they would tell us is that every church should go back to Sabbath worship try me try me try me if you if think I'm making it up try me and see it not too long from now those same prognosticators the next book they're going to write the church need to go back Remember I told you right here? the church need to go back to Saturday Major attack on the body of Christ on Christianity to Judaize Christianity. If they had succeeded with their thing, we warned them right here last week that because they fail to acknowledge their wrong, judgment coming. I know you don't want to take it, but I'm hitting you like it is. That's why it got hit right there in that college. And pure Christians. No, you see, you 
mercy. My God of mercy. It's up to you. It happened only 48 hours after we declare that there's going to be judgment in the house of God because we won't hear. The whole world can see that those prognostications did not work. With due respect to them because they are bad people, but they're just wrong. They made mistake. Everybody make mistake at certain time. This time it is them. Maybe another time is me, but this time it's them. They made a mistake. We're not saying they are bad. They are good people, but we all err. They err. They were not trying to do wrong, but they erred. They were trying to do good, but they erred. When you err, you must acknowledge your error. If you don't acknowledge your error, a spirit of blindness will take you. You don't acknowledge your error, a spirit. Help me, help me, preacher. Hit me, hit me. A spirit of deceit will take you. If you don't acknowledge your error, come on. A spirit of bondage will take you. If you don't acknowledge your error, a spirit of delusion will take you. If you don't acknowledge your error, a spirit of divination will take you. If you don't acknowledge your error, a spirit of the beast. Antichrist will take you. And the devil tried to do a thing on the church. To bring back the church to the bigger elements. Come on, somebody. My God, to bring back those things that was nailed to the cross. You were preaching to me. I tell you, I tell you, I can't preach this thing here this afternoon. Those things that was nailed to the cross. The devil tried to bring them back to bring us back in bondage. But the devil is a liar. We are soldiers. We are loose. We're not bound. We are free. For who the son? Somebody help me. Set free. Shiba Basapa is free. Shiba Hata. Indeed, we break every shamita chain of the body of Christ. Apakaye, you been helping me. In the name of Jesus, we break every shamita chain. Rapasata of the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, we break every blood moon chain. Sit down. You all don't want to say judgment. But that's how it goes in the house. Even some good people get judged for the benefit of a billion. And I got it. So, 48 hours later, they hear of Joaquin in the Caribbean. So, because the Joaquin hurricane, thank you, in the Caribbean. So, because they want to say blood moon work. Now listen to me. And show me it at work. Somebody said, you know what? Is it coming to pass? America finish. East Coast finish. 25 million people finish. And they get ready. And they study Joaquin. And they see Joaquin mean the lifting of something. And they turn it around and call it judgment. Because they want to say, is it? So God being cool. <laughs> you don't want no preaching. You want, they want me to preach like you. Come on, somebody here. God brought cool. In the east, they never see cool like this. <laughs> My God, my wife said, Daddy, we got, we got to turn on the, the heat. Come on, somebody. We're not going to cost a lot of time. We're going to turn on the heat. After a while, sometimes said, No, I'm not turning it on. Come on, somebody. God being cool to push away. Joaquin, you didn't get me. God being cool because hurricane can't manage cool. As you get cool, you have to run away. You're not with me, somebody. You're not with me, somebody here. Glory to God. For no man will glory in the presence of the Lord. No law will win grace. No bondage will win freedom. 
Come on, somebody. No Old Testament ritual will be the grace of God. Rapakata and the freedom of God and the mercy of God and the power of God. Somebody said, don't look behind. On the front line. The Lord said, accusations coming. False accusations coming. Conflicts coming. They're not going to leave it like this. Debates coming. 